Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where it is stupidly hot today. Not in Porsche, in real life. Hi Nathan, hello. Right, so we're gonna pop Nathan down and it's time to give Nathan some food for the day. So he will be a happy baby and also I will gift him some food as well because I happen to have that on hand. And then we'll pat him and say hello. Mama. Mama. <laughs> I really do think that sound is cute. I don't know why. But I've got a brand new game today I'm going to be checking out later. So you'll get to see what that is. I know I've got, I had lots of brand new games lately. So I'm going to do some more Never Seen today. Also I'm going to do some more... I don't know what order things are going to go up. So you might have already seen it by now. Gonna do some more Hammer Helm. In fact, I've done loads of Hammer Helm. Loads of it. I'm loving that game so much. I'm loving making my big town and being able to rearrange it all and make it look cool and everybody having little bits and bobs in, the, in their houses that makes them happy. And, oh, it's so good. But today, because it's so hot, I'm thinking that in Porsche, you know, let's get back to the game at hand, shall we? In Porsche, I feel like I want to do some fishing today. And I have a particular fishing spot in mind. There is a fishing spot that contains three of the four fish that I still need to get. So I'm kind of thinking that might be the thing to do. Now, oh, look, I got my wardrobe and my TV stand as well. Okay, well, I'm going to put these down somewhere. Maybe the wardrobe could go upstairs before we head out too much. And I'm kind of thinking... We'll pop it along here. That's good. Let's open it up. And I, there's a couple of things that we could put in there already. It doesn't have hats, but I like that. I can I can display all of my clothes in there. Oh, that's cute. I like. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go downstairs. I think I may have a chest there somewhere and get all the clothing out. Do I have an indoor chest? Yes, I do. Here we are. Let's get them out of the chest. Just sort all as well, maybe. Why have I got so much stone here? Oh my goodness. Get in there. My metals need to get in here. That is not a metal. I just need to have just loads of stuff just hanging around for no reason. Stupid diapers. Marco's tail, 13. I think I put all the Marco's tails into miscellaneous. So what have we got now? We've got the flying pigs and the sky sharks, I think. Oh, maybe we don't. Okay, I'll put them in there anyway. So we have planet explorers, drains, protoform, Marco's tail, one, two, three, four, five, nine, flying pigs in the sky sharks, and thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, nine, and thirteen. Okay. I'm gonna get the TV out of here. And I'm gonna put the TV stand and the TV down somewhere. I know, I know I haven't. Don't want to Let's make this a TV room. There we are, got my TV in there. Right, so, next thing I want to do is some clothes out, because I forgot to do that. I have my wedding dress, my snowsuit, my riding suit, my martial arts suit. I just sold part of that suit, so that's fine. Yeah, I think that'll be enough though. It's all the pretty stuff. All the really nice stuff. Okay, so wedding dress. Snowsuit. Uh, riding suit. And martial arts suit. I need one more suit to go in there. Unless you could just assume that that's the one I'm wearing that day. 
And look at that, it's displaying all my cute clothes. I like that very much. I mean, the fishing suit is a horrible one. Don't like that one at all. Was that like a summer one? Summer was martial arts. Autumn was... Yeah, I've got summer, autumn and winter in there. Spring is the fishing one. Wedding dress and then my, my suit that I took off to wear this one. Pinkie Pie, why are you meowing? Even Nathan isn't making as much noise as you. You suck. I'm gonna give Pinky a hug as well. Okay, a pet will do. I think I might get rid of that washing machine, it's horrible. Okay, so let's do the fishing, because it's 9.30 now. Also, we might want to pick up a commission as well, possibly. I don't know, I might just concentrate on the fishing today. I don't need to do a commission every single day. It's good for money. I've only got 35,000 left. I've obviously been spending a lot on uh, gate upgrades and things. I want to see how many fishing... Oh, 63 caterpillars, that's fine. That's loads. I'll see what commissions we've got, because I am a bit low on money. And I want to see the sale prices as well. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any double S's. Two printing presses for 4,800. That's decent. Oh, what? Oh, I could have done chimney roofs instead. Oh, it's teach me to not look at them. Oh, well. Printing presses are quite easy. I imagine I can do them straight away. Chimney roofs are not that hard, though. Grr. I want to be able to do two in one day. I'll just get them started over here then. So we want to do... Two printing... I'm sure printing presses are constructed. I'm sure they're down the bottom of this side. There we are. Oh, I need six grinding stones. Okay. Now will you make me them? Oh, well, 4,000 not to be sneezed at. I could have done all the commissions though. We only allowed one a day. Anyway, the fishing spot I am on about. It's just down here a little bit. And this would have been a, a bit of an annoying one to get to prior to like horses and uh, robo piggies and things. But this fishing spot down here does uh, the banner fish, the fire fish and the lantern fish, apparently. So I would like to uh, check this out and uh, make sure it does. And keep fishing here and the little fishing spot down by me and that's all of the fish I need. So I basically need to fish here and just by Amber Island. That's a fire fish. That's good. I may as well reel them in actually because they're probably worth a bit. The lantern fish on its own is worth 90. That's not too bad. And if lantern fish are the common one, that's good. For a banner. Oh, banner fish will be the cheapest one though. I do still need the banner fish king though, so it's good. A couple of emperors. As long as it's fish and stuff, I'll reel them in. I'm still a bit undecided as to whether that's better or worse. I, th I think it's better just to catch them, honestly, time-wise, for example. Didn't really mean to pull that one in, but uh, not the end of the world. I'll sell it at some point. Emperor Firefish. I do with a King Firefish, but I don't know. Emperor will do. 90, that's not too bad. 
Oh, so the lanternfish are the more expensive ones here. Seaweed. <laughs> what a waste. Waste of bait. So yeah, this spot doesn't have the most expensive of fish in it. But the fish that you do get are all the ones that are missing from my museum. So it's like, okay. Still good. I wonder when a king's going to pop up out of any of these. Or will I just run out of caterpillars first? Oh, why do I keep catching the seaweed? I hope she loves cooler than I am right now. I even closed my window because it was a bit noisy outside. I was like, oh, do I close it? Do I keep it open? I don't know. I just feel sorry for the people down in London where it's, it's humid. It's so humid all the time. That's the problem. And they're there with it like 10 degrees more than we've got up here. And so they must be scorchioing. Oh, here we are. King firefish. I will be super careful. But there's no need not to be. Firefish king. Beautiful. One more off my list, fire. So it's banner, frog, and lantern now. So banner and lantern I can get here. I don't know if we'll be so lucky with the, uh, the other two. We'll see, if I can get one per day, I'm happy with that. You know, if I can get two in a day, then that's really good. I'll probably spend some time in the ruins though tomorrow, just uh, getting further down in the levels. I don't want to be spending all of my time fishing, but at the same time, I'm aware that there's a few fish left to get. There's like three now, there was four. And I didn't want to just have episodes and episodes of fishing right at the end. I want to try and spread things out a bit. Probably won't even do any relic hunting today. I will probably do a little... Oh, I want to do llama trapping as well, don't I? It's definitely one thing I want to do very soon. Because now Mint looks after all my animals, so it's really cool. But yeah, if any of you are patrons, go check out the Hammerhelm series as well, because you will be named in it. Eventually. Obviously, I can't name everybody all at once, but... Like, there's going to be enough characters in that to get everyone a name and possibly some people out of the comments as well. Depending on how big my village gets. Every house I build does two more characters. Go on, King Banner and King Lantern. The annoying thing is, as well, I've had the king frogfish. I keep saying about this, how I lost the recording. And now I've gone back to a time where the king frogfish has not been caught. I have to do it all over again. You guys don't know that, though. Well, you do, because I keep moaning about it. But you haven't seen it. You haven't had to watch me catch it. And then The annoying thing was I caught it almost straight away as well. It was like, this was too easy for you. Ha ha ha. Recording's off. I was like, no. I need to keep checking the market prices as well. Because I'll be able to get some money from selling. Definitely. And I need to maybe start doing some bulk orders and things like that. I don't need you firefish anymore. It's like, well, the next one that pops up could be the king. 
Or the next 20 that pop up could not be. That's the thing with fishing, it's the uncertainty of it. There's been times where, I'm glad I caught the Firefish King because like there have been times where I've literally fished the entire day. The entire day has gone and I haven't even found one Kingfish, yet alone two. So super rare. I think they're 1 in 20 or something. But sometimes 1 in 20 means you'll fish 40 before you find it, you know? Because that's how probability works. Just because the probability is you'll get 1 in 20. That means every time it, it comes up, there's a 1 in 20 chance. And that could happen on the first chance. It could not happen until the 40th chance or the 100th chance. Probability is not a guarantee. People don't understand that when they're playing uh, XCOM, apparently, according to Alvac. <laughs> I haven't played XCOM. I'm too dumb for that game. Well, I'm not too dumb, but it doesn't interest me. I shouldn't put myself down and say that I'm too dumb for things. Like... <laughs> You could even be not the best player in the world, but you're still not too dumb to at least give it a go. And there are a lot of things that I give a go. Like, I even gave Stellaris a go. I gave that a good go, but I, I just didn't quite understand it. But I, what I want to try and do with Stellaris is to try it with a couple of different um, ways of winning. Because I think the way I was trying to win was a re I don't know, it's really slow as well, isn't it? And it's like, what, what even is the point? What even, it's not a very clear goal, not a very clear win, you know, a lot of games it's like, well this is how you win, and I'm like, great, I'll go and I'll try and win. That game, there's no real way to win, and it's not in the same way as Porsche, like, you win when you've completed everything, I suppose it's more a completionist game, but, uh, and you kind of choose a little bit when you've won the game yourself, but Solaris, I don't know. I find it hard to work out how I've won, and it might just be experience with the game. If I have more experience, I may work it out. And then I'll be like, oh, that was the point. Oh, that's how that works. It's going to take a lot of hours. And apparently, out of all the Paradox games, that's actually one of the more, like, no seaweed. Out of the Paradox games, it's one of the, the more <laughs> simple ones, apparently. So it's the the easy one to get into. I'm like, goodness me, what are things like Crusader Kings and Hearts of Iron and EU4 and stuff like that like? That must be awful. Or really good if you're really bored and you have loads of time. It just seems a bit stressful to me, honestly. But there's games that I would enjoy playing like for myself, like things like Stellaris and stuff like that. Things like Seven Days to Die. And I do more of these things on stream, honestly, as well. Um, things like that, I really... Oh, no, I've run out of bait. Rats. Half past ten at night as well. All right, well, we've got some good fishes. So I'm happy with that. So what can we do with the rest of the day? We could go and collect the printing presses. We could go... And have a little look through our uh, inventory. And see how much stuff we've got that could be sold. I love going up really high. Just checking things out. Okay, so. Pick all this up. I do need to get to the tree farm, I right, still. I haven't had wood in like a million years. I'm still getting, uh, I'm still getting the the other stuff. Oh, actually, you know what I should do as well? Have a little look and see if there's any relics I can craft. Yes, we can now craft the welding helmet. Very nice. Did I have that written down? Oh, 
I didn't. I, the welding helmet, I, I seem to recall that being the one that I wasn't too sure on. See, I've got written down that I've got number eight of Marco's tail. Did I pick that up? Is it in my inventory or something? Because I'm not seeing it like where it should be. <clears throat> Maybe I don't have eight. Maybe I should cross eight out. I didn't see that earlier when I was looking at all the Marco's tails. So it's either gone somewhere it shouldn't, or I just don't have it. I'd hate to... I want to get the collection before I show you guys. Okay. It is now midnight. I think we should just go to sleep. And then get some more stuff in the morning. And tomorrow morning I'm going to go through the ruins. Just going to have a bit of a fishing and ruins episode. See how far I can get. Honey, I'm so happy to see your face every day. That's good. So Mint, when's this uh, second baby coming? Honey. Like, is that... I've never seen such a range of autumn colours until I got here. Vega 5 hardly has any plants by comparison. Yeah, it's kind of like living in the UK. I imagine Canada is even better though. I've heard that that's got some really nice autumn colours. But the UK is pretty good for autumn colours. Scotland, very nice. I'd never seen such a range of autumn colors. All right, all right, all right. Let's get out of here. Nathan, how are you doing? Oh yeah, let's get the printing presses. They'll be done by now, and then I'll go to bed. And I can hand them in first thing in the morning, because whoever they're going to probably won't be around by now. They're probably going straight back to the Commerce Guild, so. But that'll be enough just to keep me ahead of uh, Higgins and give me a few goals in the bank. I am annoyed with myself for missing a commission for 8k though. As I say, serves me right. Uh, there was no, there was absolutely no need for me to be worried about time because Higgins had gone. Higgins had, had taken his commission. So there was zero need for me to, to rush on that. So I won't try and rush that again. Come on, Nathan. Oh. I didn't really mean to pick up your crib, but I suppose that's one way to get you out of bed. Just pick up your crib and hurl you out. Your walking's really good. How good is walking is now? It's going to walk down the stairs. I'm not so keen on that. So I've got enough for tomorrow as well. Give it all. Mama, yay! Yay! And I haven't had a wee look today at, at how much uh, progress I've made with Nathan. But he's a good boy. And I've been remembering to feed him every day, unlike my horse. But since Mint has been looking after the horse, it's been so much better. He does a very good job. I could do one more kiss. Ah, oh, I forgot. I'm trying really hard. I don't want to, to properly end the series until my baby loves me. It will end at some point. I will get to a point where I've done everything that I want to do. And that will be the point where I end it. I will end it all. End it all. By then, I will have new things on the channel that will be just as cool though. I've got loads of new things on the channel right now. And you guys seem to be really taking to them, so I'm really happy that so many of you have decided to give them a chance. I thought I picked that up. How weird. Oh no, I set it going yesterday. Right, so we've got a couple of things from the museum this morning. So I'll head in and I'll get a commission. Handed my printing presses. I hope they're going to Anton. I, th I think they might be. Oh, it's Saturday, so no commission for me, Hello. but I can hand them in. So that was a few K goal for me. I might check the, the market prices as well, see if maybe I could sell anything for a good amount or whether it's really pants at the moment. It is pants at the moment, so I'm not even going to try. Okay, good. Good call. Right, so. Museum. 
Worst way ever. And I've decided to give lightning a try today. Because I can. And that's open at 9 o'clock. Yay! Just in time. That was really good timing. Okay, so let's get in here. Get that fish in before I lose it. I'll pop the welding helmet down somewhere. I'm not sure whether... It, the wiki is pretty unclear as to whether you can now get all of the different uh, relics into the museum or whether there is still a bit of discrepancy between the uh, spaces in the museum and what you can actually put in there. So welding helmet, what are you? Are you like one of these? It's a special item relic. Oh, okay. Well, that goes downstairs then. I'll put that down there in a minute. So, I would like to pop down my king firefish. We'll probably do like fishing every day until I get the rest of them. So there's three more to get. Can't be too far away. So I am missing the banner fish, the frog fish, and the lantern fish. All the others have been caught now. Fantastic. So I'll just finish this and then Animal, Animal Crossing will come out and I'll be like, yay, more museum collections. Hurrah. Wish I knew what went here. Still got a dragonfly to make for the middle in here as well. And I will definitely be doing that for the museum before I finish up the uh, uh, series as well. Okay, gonna head for the deepest ruins now. No, I'm not. Special item. A couple of spaces for special items. There's one in particular over here. That's so boring compared to like the horse and stuff. And then annoyingly, I've put down all of the artworks that I believe um, should be here, and there is still one space. If anybody knows what goes in that space, if it, I believe that it's a uh, that there are just like five pictures, three books, a heart knot. But if anyone knows that there's something that I've missed that goes there, let me know. I think I'm doing pretty well. The aquarium sound is still getting stuck. I probably need to, uh, probably do need, it's not a big thing, but I probably need to report that to Pathea, to be honest. Mind you, this is getting to be an old save now. And sometimes, like, older saves, it's, it's harder to, um, make sure the bugs are all gone in those, because it's, well, the save was done ages ago, you know, so things that need a fresh restart won't won't work. Okay, so uh, actually I think I want to be on Robo Rider. Or do I? Nah, let's not let's not. Let's just go straight up here. Somber Marsh. Let's go into the deepest ruin and just have a good old bash through it before she love gets pregnant again and uh, struggles a bit more. Actually, Lightning, what do I pay you for? Check. I don't, you don't pay me. I pay you in carrots. Oh, what's this now? More keys. This war of mine. I don't play that game. Maybe I should. Why does this stay for so long as well? I need to um, probably disable. This is the only pop-ups I'm really getting anymore. I've managed to disable most of them, but my email. I need to shut it down. Remember to shut it down before I start uh, a game. Now, the Claymore I can't use really because it I haven't put it stats up on the forge yet. I need to basically forge all my weapons so that they're a little bit better. It's definitely... Getting harder down here now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I wouldn't even be down here if I didn't if I wasn't level 50 and I didn't have all the stuff. I may need to sort out my uh Come on. That tunnel went down. Sort out my skills again. It, it may be that my skills are just needing a little tweak. I've still got a lot of gathering skills and I don't gather as much anymore by far. I do a lot more fighting, so... Gathering I think is really good at the start. Social is good for mid game. And fighting is much better at the end game. Ah, first aid kit. That's a very handy thing. All the stuff is back down here. Unbelievable! I'm gonna loot. I'm not gonna do this in a minute. No chance. I may need to come back and try and do them in a minute. I may need to start collecting my. Uh... Well, I don't know. Some of them are longer than others, but I may need to start collecting my carbon fiber from the uh, the easier levels. But I do really want to get down the bottom here, so I'm gonna just keep going. I might need to start using the vending machine. Either that or maybe try and get a hammer for using it for the... Oh. Wow. Wasn't keeping an eye on that enough. I'll get back on in there. There's only level 54 as well. Okay, I ended on level like 52 or 53. Golly gosh. I actually think I might be better off with this one, you know that. Um, yes, I am much better off with that one, for the harder bosses. What? They are doing a ton of damage to me. Good grief, I need to be careful of that. I'll try again. I've suddenly got a lot harder and I'm not expecting it. They're suddenly getting super difficult. hit points I have there and they're just like chonking on through them I'm gonna get something out of the vending machine possibly to try and help me out might just be this level honestly but we'll see oh take some cheese and mushroom soup give me some more life I can't believe I missed. What? That's better. This me. That was good. It's still taking half my hit points away though. Goodness me. I desperately needed the vending machine there for that. Alright, um, I need something to heal. I picked up a healing bandage at some point. That is super rough though. Mm. Okay, I feel like I need some kind of boon here. Um, so what have we got under skills? Let's 
still have more of a defensive posture. I could still have a bit more evasion. I could just generally fight better. Buff durations. I mean, I've got most of it. To be fair, most of the things that are going to help me in a general fight, I have. So I'm going to need to just go and get more healing stuff, I gather. Um... Gosh. Increase attack. Increase my power and defense. Maybe defense would be good. I'm going to go back to the forge. And I'm going to maybe make my hammer better stats and make that uh, new sword that I've got better stats as well. Did terribly on that. It might just be that that level is difficult, but we'll see what the next level is like. Oh, okay. This is a boss level. I'm going to take the traditional soup. Watch out the way. Gosh, that's a difficult one. Okay, let's get out of here. See, what I can do is I can go and get my summary and get my chest, stop the timer, and then go back for the chest, the boxes. As long as I've killed all the enemies, that's the main thing. Apple slices are certainly useful. I mean, not so much in a place with vending machines. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. I wonder how far it goes. It seems to go forever. Sapphires. Okay, they're useful. They, uh, they're useful for making titanium plates. Which I probably will need eventually for my... For my, uh, for my plane, for the museum. I do kind of wish that I had my own plane, though. I was kind of looking forward to that, and it never happened. I think if there is DLC, you should, you should have to get there by plane. Oh, this tunnel worm is annoying! Get dead. Thank you. Yeah, it seemed like level 55 or whatever was particularly nasty. Because that level wasn't as bad by by half. So it might just depend randomly on what you get. I do need a... Soup there, I think. <laughs> Red right there. Oh, and then they all respawn. Yay, just what I needed. Cell worms are super annoying. Everything's super annoying. Everything needs to die. Oh, 
Okay, we're through it. Oh, that was a nasty, nasty level. And I'm poisoned as well. Oh, carbon fiber, lovely stuff. Apparently I can just dig the carbon fiber out of the ruins as well. Apparently I missed loads last time I was through. Oh, it's the same level all over again. That critical hit on this sword is insane. You wouldn't be doing any of these levels without that. What you get for level 100? She says. Unlikely to actually get to level 100. Ah, oh, I should have known. I did refill my health as well when I went into that particular level, but it is getting harder by a long way. I'm level 58 now. I'd love to get to 60 today. That would be really good. Yeah, it's like a bit of a different level here. One down. Yeah, I'm fine until they all respawn. Take them all out and then it's like, no, actually, you were wrong. what I mean always with the respawns okay that's good Is everyone except this guy with the flamethrower ah he oh, went down the same time I did that's frustrating now I've got to redo the whole thing yeah, this is getting bad now. I think I might need to just go back and uh, get myself some more. Health stuff. It's nearly midnight again, so. Oh. That means I can still get home. Who desires something? Emily desires something. Probably chicken earrings. I don't know. She's obsessed with them. But yeah, we've got two more things into the museum today, so that's fantastic. Uh, one of them being a one of the kingfish, which are hard to get, so I'm quite happy and pleased with that. I'm sure I picked up a commission, I can't remember what it was for. Oh no, I didn't because it was a Saturday, so that's fine. I don't need to do anything with commissions. Um, and we're nearly at 2 o'clock in the morning now, so we may as well go to bed, I think, at this point. And do you know what? No, actually... I'm gonna have a quick look at the forge and what I want to do is just quickly see what it would take to get my claymore so I need four advanced toolkits and six diamonds the other thing that I want to do is get my hammer out and I want to try going through some of these ruin areas with a hammer just because the hammer is really super good against worms so I'm kind of thinking Oh, my hammer was right there the whole time. Okay, what? Well, okay. So why didn't that come up for something that I could use on the forge? Odd. The obsidian edge, which is already... been revised
That's interesting. It gives you 60 defense, that claymore. I wonder if that would make a difference. I'm still pretty sure that the Rogue Knight Sword is the best in the game. I don't understand why... Why I can't revise the hammer. I wanted to. A lot of people have been saying that they could revise their hammers. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll go to bed anyway. Um, I may revise the claymore once I get a couple of rubies. I don't understand where all my rubies have gone. I obviously don't get that many of them. But yeah, that's it for today. So we just uh, got a few more levels in the ruins. We uh, we have a new wardrobe. She loves new wardrobe. And we also got the fire kingfish. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Porsche, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.